First of all, our partnership with Life Fitness is extraordinarily exciting. If you go out into the, the ex exhibition booth today, you'll see our connective fitness demo. And with the launch of the Galaxy Samsung S Note uh, 4, uh, we now have a capability to connect your smartphone to cardio equipment through our partnership with Life Fitness. In 2015, this will become available, but right now you can see the demo, like I said, and the way that it works is that as a user approaches a piece of cardio equipment, their workout profile is pulled from SDHP, given to the machine, and the machine is primed for their workout. During their workout, their data, their exercise data, is being fed back to them on their Galaxy Note 4, and then when they finish their workout, it's stored securely in the cloud as part of their PHR record, and is then available to be used and developed to provide the sort of coaching and healthcare services that are so important to preventative care. You're going to be hearing from Dan Willey on that. He's the VP of, um, uh, of uh, Business Development and Marketing at Life Fitness, and he'll be up here in a moment to, to talk you through more about connected fitness. So I'm going to get right into it. Life Fitness. My name is Dan Willey. I'm the Vice President of Marketing Product Development. Um, I've been at Life Fitness for 20 years, and most recently, uh, over the last number of years, we've moved into the technology space more so than we've ever. We, we broke into the technology space, the first company with computerized uh, electronic uh, fitness equipment back in the, uh, the early 70s, late 60s. I, I, I like to call it uh, affectionately the, the red alarm clock piece of equipment that a lot of you probably are, are familiar with. But we wanted to get further into technology. We wanted to understand what people wanted from technology in their fitness workouts. And we, we did a study in 2011 to understand what was going on in this space. 72% of the people who work out said they want to use technology to create a better user experience for them while they're working out. Under 30, 76% of those people said, not only do I want to work out, but when I work out, I want to have access to my content, what I want to watch, my data, everything that has to do with me. That was profound for us and moved us into a space with a product we call Discover on our Elevation platform. Now, this, this goes all the way back. Our passion, our, our founding passion comes from our founder, Augie Nieto, who always talked about the user experience. And there's two reasons why people leave exercise. Number one, they work out too hard. They burn out, have a bad experience, they're done. Number two, they don't exercise hard enough. They don't get results, and they leave. At the foundation, at its most basic level, we understand that that user experience has to be top-notch at its highest level. Moving into technology, that becomes even more important. So user-curated experience. So not only do they want their movies, their music, their content, they want to customize their workouts, the workout that they run in their neighborhood or the traditional path that they use. They want to create the landscapes. They can do that now on the equipment. So we're evolving beyond uh, just the red LEDs and the simple hill profiles. Now, the number one thing that we've learned is, and we've had this debate with um, some, of our, some of our competition, as well as some of the people that we sell to, the data. Our belief is the data is owned by the individual, and the individual only. And what they do with that data is, is to create the best user experience for them and how they use that. We believe in this. We've launched a product called LF Open, which we've worked, worked with Samsung on that product so they can pull that data and give it to their users of their products. So where does this take us, the adoption and moving into the future? What can we expect? Well, the first thing I can tell you is our industry, the fitness industry, uh, the adoption is very, very low. It is not nearly as rapid as the consumer elect electronics industry. Um, some of my favorite stories, how many people work out? How many people work out at a club? Yep. Um, if Planet, a lifetime, and any time. If you work out at any of those, you'll be on our equipment, Life Fitness. Um, and how many people walk in there, and you start your piece of equipment, and you have to look up and pick one of five TVs and watch whatever they have playing? Well, that's not getting your experience. One of the examples I use is my son, who's 12 years old, lives in a world and expects things to work a certain way, and that's going to become more profound for him as he gets older and older. His expectation of how technology is going to work is profoundly different than the generations before him. So he wants 
to get his phone, his content, as the, as the statistics say in our research, on that product. And he wants to get that data and use that data to, to benefit him moving forward. So the future. We, in 2012, when we launched Discover Elevation product, we saw this trend coming but didn't necessarily know how to uh, deploy it, what to do. We embedded Bluetooth technology on all of our product shipping on the elevation on the elevation line, not knowing how we were going to use it. We played with Bluetooth headphones, Bluetooth speakers. Really, the user experience on any of those isn't what you, what you would expect or what you would want in a, in a, in a club. Then along enters uh, Samsung. And they came along and through a partnership and through our LF Open API integration, we worked with them feverishly to come up with the product that Ian was talking about. Walk right up to any piece of Life Fitness Elevation equipment. It recognizes your phone, logs you in, and preloads all of your data, all of your pre-programmed workouts. You can start your workout. In real time, it tracks that data right into your device, and you can change the piece of equipment from a resistance standpoint as well as other attributes. That then gets captured for the individual in the Samsung device and gets held there, as Ian explained in his, his opening presentation. Just the very beginning and very powerful of where we can go with this, with our LF Open API, and really proud that we were able to step forward with Samsung and uh, put this together. I encourage you to come over to our booth, booth 303 right behind you, and see it in, uh, in live, live action and explore some of the other options and things that you can do with LF Open. And we'll answer any of your questions relative to life fitness or where we think uh, connected fitness is going to go in the future.